the hardest part about doing this show is that every week I have to actually acknowledge that a week has passed, and then every week I go, what did you do? <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm doing with all of these, and I'd like to tell you it's nothing clever. So I'm actually just taking them from that wall and putting them over there. But it's symbolic, okay? Oh man, what's on my mind? Pfft. What isn't on my mind right now, people? A lot. First things first, I wrote a letter to myself. Have you ever done that? Basically every year, my boyfriend and I go into the woods and we write a letter to our future selves. We've been doing this for three years. It's the best thing I've ever done, ever. I was in a place last year at this time right before my aunt really got very sick from ovarian cancer. So in this letter I was saying, Aunt Pat is sick, I uh, don't really know what's gonna happen, but I had no idea that the hardest period of my entire life was eight weeks from that letter last year. Opening that letter this year, remembering that how I'm feeling now, 10 months later, feeling so much stronger, feeling like I can't believe I actually got through that. In her passing, she actually gave me a sense of, of freedom and fearlessness because I actually watched her pass from this earth and I watched her take her last breath and in that moment I actually felt my being like split open essentially it just shattered and I felt like a lot of last year was about putting those pieces back together and then writing that letter this year realizing that I had in a way felt like I had put a bunch of those pieces back together so it's just an exercise that I really, really recommend for everyone and maybe finding someone that you can do it with, either a friend or, or a cat. I wanna write a letter. Cats can't write, or can they? Secondly, next week I'm really excited because I am taking a retreat to my best friend's house and I'm gonna disconnect, except for maybe putting this video together because you know, it's like a show, it's a thing. And I'm gonna write a memoir. So I have inspiration. Why would I write a memoir? You must be like, she must think she's important. Like people give a shit about her story. And the truth is, it's not about everyone giving a shit about your story. It's about one person giving a shit. And I know that there is one person out there that gives a shit, and it is my mom. Okay, the cat. The cat also gives a shit. My dad also gives a shit. My boyfriend, I think he gives a shit. Point is, why do these people Mindy Kaling, great. Tina Fey, hilarious. Amy Poehler, yes please. Amanda Palmer, inspiration to us all. Please, stop it. You're not in the show. They get to write these memoirs and we read these books and we go, they're just like me. And the truth is we're all just like each other people. You are driving me crazy. So I had this idea and I said, don't we all have memoirs in us? I think we actually do. And I'm gonna work on this memoir called the non-famous memoir, because I'm not famous. What ends up happening is you have this book of all of your learnings and you have to take the time and actually think about your experiences. And my hope is to take a week and really think about my time on this planet so far and write a book. So it's ambitious. And I know what you're thinking, shouldn't you be focusing on music? And the truth is yes, but I also have other goals. And a lot of that is around writing. Music is just one of the mediums in which I love to share stories, if you couldn't tell. So I'll let you know how that goes. My hope is, is to kind of create a framework that I can then share in which other people can share their memoirs as well. With me, with their friends, maybe on a first date, you're like, oh, I'll have the tuna tartare. Here's my memoir, know more about me in my life. Save it for the second date, that's what I always say. Or the morning after, you could say, oh, I just made coffee and a memoir. Third, you're probably wondering where I'm at on my old music career. Well, I am gonna try out for The Voice. What? I know what you're thinking. Actually, I don't know what you're thinking. What I'm thinking is my brother is so kind, he said that he was going to take a video with him to the Chicago auditions and play my music for them. Isn't my brother the best? He just, he really believes in me and I just think that's awesome. When I said that I had that vision, I didn't say where I was. It could be on stage at The Voice. Could also be on stage at a big church singing to thousands of people about Lord Jesus. I don't know what it is. All I know is I'm open to it. Also, I have started my outreach to DJs. So far, it's going not that well. I sent some samples out and I was like, yay, yeah, here's me, I got some songs. And um, well, I, either they're just taking a while to get back to me and they're busy, that's a totally cool, or they hate my music and that is okay too 
because I am willing to change and adjust and experiment. I'm calling, look, I'm literally calling. Where's my phone? Hi universe, yes, hello. Uh, I would love some DJs that need a vocalist. I'm very collaborative and fun. Please send them my way, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do, call the number.